and and bring your heels down and forward a little bit. Bring your leg forward. And think about pressing down, down, down your heels. Well, P is being really nice and slow, huh? Okay, let's see if you can ask that head to go down. So shorten your reins a little bit. Crawl down. She wasn't too grumpy today? Saddling up initially she was, but now she looks happy enough now. That's the thing that always got me, is that she never seemed that grumpy being ridden. So, all right. So, Emma, when you come around your ends and nobody's there, so Caroline's using her pen, and it works for Caroline easier because she's on the outside, but now you can use your inside rein and inside leg to push Stella to the rail. Sit left. That a girl. Now push her over. Push that a girl. It just took a little bit. All right, Emma, half turn. I want to keep you guys going opposite each other for practice. Whoops. So we're almost always going to turn to the inside of our pen, Emma. Otherwise, we're going to run into a wall. So now, left leg to left leg might be slightly different. Okay, so let's see. When you get up here, I want you to stop by me, Emma, okay? <clears throat> Stretch those legs down, Caroline. Caroline's the one who may have, has to make the accommodation. You get to stay on the rail. Sit back. Get your seat under you again, Emma. So stand up a little bit and bring your seat up underneath you so that you can raise your pelvis up front. Good job, you're getting her head dropping, that's nice. Okay, there you go, and that's a much more comfortable trot, isn't it? Good, okay, we're going to start. Um, you're gonna go through the middle, it's gonna be between the black barrel and the blue barrel, that's your middle. And so you're gonna have to look ahead like if you guys go through there together, you have to look ahead and then change direction, Emma. Is that kind of centered or not so much? It's very centered. Okay. Okay, Emma, use your inside leg. You're going to push her out here now. So always come use your whole pen. Bring your legs forward a little bit again. There you go. Don't forget to clock too, Caroline. I don't I can't hear inside these earmuffs. Good, so we'll start figure eighting. Heels down, Emma, toes up. That's what's going to help bring your leg forward. It's when we, our toe thinks about going down that our leg drifts back. Caroline, remember the lesson I was giving the other day? With Hannah? Yes. And were you, play, were you trying to do that a little bit? Or not so much? Uh, no. Okay. All right, well, we'll save it for when you're completely alone. All right. Um, I want to get it so that you guys are going through the middle together. We could start at A and C. Yes, so Emma, stop in front of line. Giddy up. So you want to go left leg to left leg through the center. Does it work? Something... Oh is wrong. Something wrong. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Get a good look. Okay, so the whole goal is that you're going to be going opposite directions. I know what it is. Go to the center. Go between those two. One of you faces S and one of you faces T. Doesn't matter to me who does what, but... All right. And then I believe you end up with left leg to left leg. Am I correct? All right. And that looks so, better. So now when you go, Caroline will go right, Emma, and Emma will go right. You both go right, and then you'll pass each other in the center, left leg to left leg, and go the other way. So we're going to start some figure eighting, okay? All right. Go ahead. Now I want you to look at, use your inside rein, inside leg. So she comes out here. That a girl. Slow down a little bit. 
Now look at each other. So if you're both at the corner, that should work. If you're both at S and T, that should work. Left leg to left leg. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. And change direction. That looks better. There you go. It doesn't take me all day. <laughs> <laughs> Only half a lesson. Use your pen. Look at each other. Are you at, at A and C together? Very good. Excellent. Nice job. Meeting at center. Good. And go the other way. Use your pen, Emma. That a girl. Touch her with the rain. That a girl. Good job. <clears throat> All right, so now when you go through, Caroline will be going left, Emma will be going left. I want you to go between Caroline, it'll be the black and black barrel. Emma, it's going to be the black and blue and white barrel. Through the barrels, through the barrel, through the barrel. There you go. So what we did is we made our figure eight much smaller, didn't we? Look at each other through the middle. Change direction and then go through the the shorter figure eight. You're between black and black. Caroline's black, and blue and white. Good, through the middle. Caroline, use your outside rein a little more. Good, through the little short one again. Good. Giddy up, Emma. Don't make her wait for you. All right, now go big. Now go to the whole one. All right, and then you're both going to pass through. Giddy up. Change direction and go through blue and white for Emma, black and black for Caroline. Whoops, uh, go the other way, Emma. Half turn, turn your head. That's okay. Um, this is just a creation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, be, it's in the process. Left leg to left leg. Good job. When you get down there, weave back. Nice. Kick a little bit, Emma. Kick, kick, kick. Bump, bump, bump. Push her up. Good. Keep doing it. Do it again. Nice. Very good. Excellent. I like how you turned your heads. That's cool. That's cute. Good. Keep those legs a flopping to keep them going through their turns. Whoops, Emma, nope. you gotta hurry up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> flop, flop, flop your legs, keep them forward. Bring your legs forward, Emma. There you go. Good. Good. Whole pen. Through the middle. Change direction through your first barrels. We're not going to fly like maniacs. <laughs> Slide your seat. Good job. Good job. Don't lean back too far. Very nice, Emma. She's going nice and slow. Everyone got the correct lead and post when you get broke down, okay? Eyes up. Lean up over her body. Good. Break to a posting trot. Let's see if we can get our correct diagonals. Hit the first beat. Good job. Everybody got it. Excellent job. When you get to see posting trot, weave the barrels. You'll be following each other. Oops. So you may have to steer. Now, 
At the barrel you steer, slow down a little bit. Good, out to the rail Whoop. by M. So, <laughs> so let's take a walk. Everybody walk. And, and Caroline's going to demonstrate for Emma what it looks like to come around a barrel and pick up a shoulder. Right, Caroline? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just making sure. <laughs> okay. So <coughs> you're going to start weaving, Caroline. Emma, you're going to watch her. So she's heading for the blue barrel. See how she steered in pretty close to the white? Now she's going to touch her with the inside rein. Right rein, uh, Caroline, pick her shoulder up. Pick it up. Emma needs to stop and stay, watch. Yes. All right. So do you see how she's, she, just weave them. Sit up, don't lean in. So pick, pick her shoulder or inside shoulder up. Now you're going to pick the left shoulder up. And it's not about pulling the nose. It's about touching. You can do it. Right rein, Emma. Left, right rein, Caroline. Left rein, Emma. Left rein, Caroline. So pick her up so that she gets like this. You want them rounding it. Good. Now look up and think about how you guys are going to meet there. I think it can work. There you go. Emma, I think you need to be a little shorter and a little more active with your hand, okay? So look at me. When you pick up, you pick up kind of like towards uh, your opposite shoulder. So right now, pick up towards your left shoulder a little bit. There you go. Now pick up towards your right shoulder. Make her nose come around. Good. Right, right rein. Caroline, right rein. There you go. That was better, Caroline. So you, you needed uh, exercise in picking a shoulder up too. Okay, look at me. You're yanking her here. I want you to pick it up so she rounds. There you go. Go around it again, Caroline. Left rein towards your right shoulder. Don't pull back so much. Pick up. Up and up. No, up and hold. Pick it up. There you go. Pick it up and hold. Pick it up and hold. Pick it up and hold. There you go. Now you can let her go. Good. Pick your right rein up, Emma. Right rein up towards your left shoulder. There you go. See how she, how oh. she arced? Now pick your left reins up. This is good because you're both going the same way. Now your right reins up. So it picks the shoulder up and causes the horse to be, when you guys get behind white, left leg to left leg. There you go. Caroline, shorten your reins a little bit. And don't be tuggy with it. Just draw it up. Draw up. Draw up towards your shoulder. So you want to be able to let that rein touch her neck because that talks to that neck and shoulder and says, come up here, pick it up. Good, switch reins, Emma. Good, okay. Um, what, what were we doing just before that? And it was being fun. Okay, Can Emma, stop. Good. So think about whoever is going to the outside has to head more towards the wall than towards the barrel. Make sense? So Caroline needs to stay towards the wall. There you go. Good. All right, everybody out to the wall. And winter. Okay, Emma's on the wrong lead. She needs to bring her horse down. Sit to the left. Get over. Good job. You got it. Sit up, sit up, sit left, sit left. Use your inside rein, Emma, to touch her and keep her out. Good job. All right. Everybody is going to try to go through the black and blue barrels without killing each other. <laughs> Stay going in the same direction. Oh, Emma, uh, Caroline, did you have to change leads? No, 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 you're fine. Did you have to? Okay, I, I just wasn't sure. 
Good job. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's cool. Oop, now you got the wrong lead there, Emma. Out to the rail. Everybody out to the rail. Pick your lead up. Left leg there, Emma. Steer the shoulders to the wall. Emma needs a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run her over. Giddy up. Go, go. Caroline, I got a challenge for you. You're going to pick up your right lead. Look up at me, Emma. Come towards me. Don't go travel everywhere around way in the middle. Now look at the wall. Get out to the wall. Touch her with your inside rein. The route would be. Okay, so remember how we picked the shoulder up? Turn your head. Look at your blue barrel. There you go. That's fast enough because she knows these. Look at your white barrel, and you're going to go around it to the left. She knows these, so she knows that. I can see her look on her face. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> you can post, because that looks really uncomfortable. <laughs> Whatever you choose to do, there you go. That's a good choice. Turn your head, look at your barrel, look at where your path is. Good, you can do a ranch trot the next time, too. You uh, caught on to it quickly. Some people don't. I, they get pretty confused. Sit back there, Emma. Don't stand up when you pull on the reins. Good. And so Precious never tries to do more than what we want her to do. <laughs> want to sit back and draw back a little. Sit back. Bring her back. Look at me. Look at me. Sit back. Draw back. Now go forward. So when you go between them, you can lean forward. Now sit back. Sit back. Sit in your saddle more. Sit back. There you go. Good. Put your hand forward. Try not to hold her too, too tight. So I think she's got it. I, by George. <laughs> <laughs> so be in there, and it's just go down around one barrel and come back as fast as you can. And Emma, now since we only have one barrel, which which rug around it to the left? Okay, so you can do a ranch trot around it. <laughs> Stella knows. <laughs> Turn your head. There you go. Good job. Can I try to bring that? You bet. You can try. Okay. <laughs> clack, 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 clack. <laughs> Good. All right, Emma, you're going to try a canter? Okay. All right. We don't have a real timer, so take your time. Shoulders to the right. Good job. Sit back. Don't let her tear. Sit back. Hold. That a girl. Slide your seat. Arena. <laughs> like this. She, it was legal because she went around the barrel. It just took very long. There you go. Here, I mean, sit back with your seat. Have your seat back because you're still kind of going back here. You want to either stay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and it just takes practice. You know what I always tell people is how you know how you get good at cantering? Practice. By cantering. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so try not to hold her face so much. Can I try it on Sure. This is way better. Sit back. <laughs> that a girl. Not in your upper body. That a girl. Good job. And if you go off pattern, like if she has to circle a barrel or something, <coughs> then you're disqualified. If your flag falls out, you're disqualified. There you go. All right. Assuming that she'd be on a lead, which you're not going to be on, you're not going to canter to start with. You probably, you can trot to it, stop, pick it up, because... Stay to the outside. You're going to have to go one-handed because you need your other hand for... There you go. Check back. Sit back. Get your flag. Good. <laughs> Try not to poke her in the eye with it. <laughs> now, you want to hold that thing on the top of the flag there, Emma. 
so that when you poke it in, you're in a good position to leave it behind. There you go. And so when we come to a barrel, when we slow down, and you don't have to stop, when we slow down, it's called check. You check. All right. So what we're going to do is when you put it in, just do a circle, take it, and put it back on the other side. So that saves me. If we were at a horse show, try to let her mouth go in between. Um, if we were at a horse show, there would be ring attendants who would be taking care of all that past it. So... <clears throat> All right, so this one, maybe you can try it at a, eh, like a ranch trot or something. You probably should shorten your reins some. Now get your hand out there so that you're ready with your flag. Get your flag out there. Get it out there. Poke it in. Good, Good job. Good job. All right. Yeah, Stella got a little too much yeehaw in her this spring, and she bucked Grace off oh. at the horse show. The thing is, she never does it at home. She never has. Now, try not to stand up quite so high, because you get up so high that you lose your balance. And you need it to start with a shorter rein. Next time, we'll start with a shorter rein. Put your hand forward and guide her. Touch her neck. Touch her neck. Okay, look up. Look up and go, go, go. There you go. Now, gently turn and go back. Yeah, <laughs> she she planted her. <laughs> I sure was. I was videoing. It would have been great to have that on video, as much as unpleasant as it was. <laughs>